this is a big fear that people have and that you're rigging this system and that this will turn all these states into essentially locked blue like California is. Well, I, I, you know, it's well, uh, uh, immigration is always going to be a, a, a tough issue in our nation. Can voters trust that you will be able to do this job on day one? Yeah, of, of course. After Kamala Harris specifically declined to go on Joe Rogan, and only later did we find out that she had ridiculous demands of Joe Rogan, including he traveled to her. The conversation only lasts an hour, and she had time to go on SNL, though. She had plenty of time to divert her flight uh, from a swing state to go on SNL for a cringe-tastic three-minute love fest. The Democrats who are nervous about Pennsylvania, by the way, if you're watching this video and you're a Pennsylvania voter or you know somebody in Pennsylvania, make sure they go vote. Uh they deployed Fetterlump, a man who became surprisingly based after actually literally having a stroke. He went on the Joe Rogan experience for about two hours. I, I assume in an attempt to try and win more people in Pennsylvania. Um, but he accidentally released the truth about the Democrats bringing in migrants and putting them in swing states. This is, you know, this is not... Um, this is not like a, a conspiracy. This is Fetterman saying that. By the way, I want to let everyone know the coffee brand coffee advent calendar is selling out quick. It is seriously the highest quality advent calendar out there. It has coffee, real cacao cocoa, and some of our top sweet treats. It looks amazing on your counter. It makes an amazing gift. There's an ultra limited quantity. So the link is in the description to go get it. Also, huge shout out to metapcs.com. Link in the description. It's the computer I use. I trust my entire business to it. They have gaming computers, business computers, laptops, promo code quartering, and you'll actually save money on it too. Rogan just crushed Fetterman here. Um, let's look at some of these presses here. Let's, let's look at some of these. Joe Rogan presses Senator John Fetterman on the Democrat playbook to move millions of illegal immigrants into swing states, grant them am amnesty, and achieve a one-party rule by turning them blue. Democrats are import importing voters. Now, this should... Again, I'm not saying that this is going to dissuade anybody from voting for Kamala, but if you are somebody who is on the fence about voting this year, you're an RFK, <clears throat> RFK voter, a third-party voter you're blackpilled, whatever. Like if Trump doesn't win this election, it may be the last chance a Republican ever has to win an election for the rest of our life. It's that important. And this is why. First Democrats saying, hey, though, we need a secure border. We, you know, it's a significant issue. And if I thought there was any kinds of issues and I've been very vigilant throughout, I've been actively involved in those kinds of things. How? And I've never witnessed those kinds of a thing. But what do you and mean by issues? Like what kind of issues are you talking about? You're talking about people letting people in in order to get votes? Uh, well, I, I, it's not. There's not that level of kinds. I don't think there's that level of kinds of organization. But uh, there or, is an organization uh, that's moving these people to swing states. There's a significant number of these uh -oh. people that are illegal immigrants that have made their way to swing states, and then there's uh oh been calls for amnesty. There's been calls for allowing these people to have a pathway to citizenship and allow them to vote. Uh oh. The fear He's that a saying lot of people it. have is that this is a coordinated effort to take these people that you're allowing to come into the country, then you're providing them with all sorts of services like food stamps and housing and setting them up well, you, and then you... providing a pathway to amnesty, and then you would have voters that would be significantly voting towards the Democrats because they're the people that enabled them to come into the country in the first place, first place and provided them with those services. Absolute nuke. You know, millions of Joe Rogan voters. Now, again, the reason Kamala Harris didn't go on Joe Rogan is because she thinks the male voters of the Joe Rogan experience won't show up on election day. So if you listen to Joe Rogan and you're one of those people that only watch my Joe Rogan videos, and I know there are a lot of them, 
she thinks that you're dumb and she thinks that you're not going to vote. That's why she didn't bother going there and she went to SNL instead. This is a big fear that people have and that you're rigging this system and that this will turn all these states into essentially locked blue like California is. Well, I, I, you know, it's well, uh, uh, immigration uh, 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 is always going to be a, a, a tough issue in our nation. You know, I, I had uh, as a professor uh, in grad school, uh, Alan Simpson, Alan Simpson, and he uh, was uh, he was a United States senator. He was Wyoming uh, and he was he was uh, he was actually a pro cho- uh, choice Republican. I mean, how rare that would be. Well, it doesn't exist now. And he said, you are yes, never going to have any meaningful immigration kinds of legislation. He's like, because both side, uh, that's useful for them. And it's going to be back and forth, back and forth. And he said that 25 years ago. Useful meaning the debate, having it always uh, some yeah, a political it's, it's talking point. It's useful for one side or the other. It's, right. it's useful. And he, he, he said I, they were never going to be. And he said that in 1999. Mm-hmm. And I, was, I, I voted for, for the border deal. And that, and that went down. And, and that's – I mean he said that 25 years ago and that was absolutely true now that, that, that they had an opportunity to do a comprehensive border uh, bipartisan and that went down because uh, Trump um, – he, he declared that, that that's, that's a bad deal after Wrong. it was negotiated Wrong. With, with the other side. But what did- this, this is a lie that the Democrats have pushed that Donald Trump turned down the immigration bill just so he could run on it. That's not true. The bipartisan immigration bill – granted vast numbers of uh, amnesty to like millions of illegals. So they were basically saying, well, we get what we want anyway. Didn't that deal also involve amnesty? And didn't that deal also involve a significant yes, number yeah. of illegal yeah. aliens being allowed into the country? Every yes, year? it did. It was 2 million people. It, it, well, so yeah. it was st- Oops. I don't think Fetterman thought that Joe Rogan would know that. That's what happens when you speak to J.D. Vance for three hours and Donald Trump for three hours three days before that. Joe Rogan knew about the specifics of this bipartisan border bill that the Democrats keep saying Trump turned down on purpose so he could run on it for the election, which is complete nonsense. Still the same sort of situation, and their fear is exactly what I talked about, that these people will be moved to swing states and that that will be used to essentially rig those states and turn them blue forever. Uh, well, I, I, I'm not. I'm not really sure if that's that's uh, what, 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 what's what's in play. Yes, it is. He absolutely short circuited him, like literally. That is a hundred percent what's in play. Fetterman knew that. And he's like, I have no answer. I think it's really like it's important that we have to have an, an honest conversation. But about doesn't it. that seem logical, though? If you have a significant number of people that are being moved into swing states that have come across the border illegally, and then you've provided them with all these services, you provided them with food stamps, EBT, you provided them with housing, you could, if you gave those people amnesty and allowed those people to vote, and it was very organized. You're talking about 75,000 votes over a few counties that switched everything over to the Republicans. You could see how you import yeah, he's really 10 uncomfortable million people right now. over the course of four years illegally and then move a significant number of them to swing states and then provide them with all these services and then give them a path to citizenship. You could uh, essentially uh, rig uh, those states. Uh, undeniably, immigration is... Ch- Oops. He had to agree. Citizenship... You could uh, essentially uh, rig uh, those states. Uh, und- By the way, look how like his shoulders are in, and he's not even deniably. He's not even looking at Joe. This is I, I, and look. I think John Fetterman has had some based moments, but look at how he crumbles. This is a guy that's like six seven, three fifty, and he can't even look at Joe. The immigration is changing our nation. I mean, I haven't spent. He's a lot looking of time everywhere, Texas, but it's very clear that that immigration has. He's looking has everywhere, but Joe. Texas. And I think it's it generally it's it's for for a good thing. He's looking everywhere, but at Joe. Oh, and by the way, a legitimate outsider. This is the appeal. The appeal is that people think that this system is completely rigged and it's captured by money and special interests and enormous corporations. And that here's a guy who's outside of this system 
completely. And the evidence of that is how the system turned against him and how you got to see people on television every night talking about Russiagate, talking about how he's a, a puppet of Putin, talking about the Steele dossier, talking about all these different things that turned out to not be true. Yeah. It yeah, further I never bought in, I never bought into some of that kind of a stuff because if anyone that spent any time on the ground in one of those states, it's like it's very clear that wasn't because of some some small kinds of uh, 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 tweets and things like it, whatever. Uh, it, it's 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 undeniable and and also. So Fetterman now admits that the I think he's trying to save his job. I think he knows Pennsylvania is going to Donald Trump and he's trying to play the middle. Uh, remember, like he was, uh, you, know, he, you know, the Republican Party was like, hey, this is a joke. And I remember Jeb, Jeb Bush, you know, and he he had like 100 or 200 million dollars. And and he just went by. He ticked him off. Uh, and and even then, people thought he was going to win. But uh, he did. But but remember, though, overall, though, that was seventy five thousand votes. That's a mathematical, like, uh, you know, I mean, think of that, 100, 160 million votes, 75,000 spread across three large states, including my own. That transform uh, American politics. Yeah, which is why they're importing migrants and putting them there. You know, and then here again, another, I mean, and then Joe Rogan, I mean, I, you, this is bad. It's the polish of speaking. Yeah, well, now he's roasting Kamala Harris in this clip. Like a yeah. congressman like a senator like a presidential candidate yeah, I, but I, it's this kind of bullshit way of communicating that's inauthentic that even though it's effective even though it's polished and smooth people never get a sense of who that person is as a human being right trump well, is not polished I, I mean, he's not polished in that sense but you get a sense of who he is as a human being there doesn't seem to be a veil there doesn't seem to be this this disconnect between a human being and the thoughts. You might not agree with him, you might think he's crass or rude, but at least you know that he's the guy that's talking. These are his thoughts, and you people trust that way more than they trust yeah, someone who's, you know, polished but full of shit. Yeah, no, it, it's it's that Scarface. It's like, you know, word and balls. Yeah, you know, I'm not yeah. gonna, I'm, you know, and that's you, you're losing politically if you're telling people to not believe what their eyes are seeing. Right. You know, it's, it's he's talking about all I have is my word and my balls. I mean, like he just, I mean, Fetterman admits that they're moving people around. You see, Joe Rogan just said the most hilarious thing possible and had John Fetterman on his show, making Kamala look less capable of speaking than somebody who's had a stroke. Now, again, like, I'm not going to call Fetterman brain dead. At least he showed up. You know, at least he showed up. But you see this Joe Rogan just crushed Fetterman here. Pretty remarkable that he ducked, Joe, that Kamala ducked Joe, but a guy suffering from actual brain damage was willing to show up. Down because uh, Trump, um, he he declared that, that that's that's a bad deal after it was negotiated with, with the other side. That's the, they're bringing up the, uh, the, fake news around the bipartisan border bill, which really was just whatever the Democrats wanted. Uh, absolutely legendary work here by Joe Rogan. Again, reminder, get your 12 days of Christmas advent calendar pre-ordered today. They ship in mid-November, so about two weeks. There's only a limited quantity of these. They're great gifts in the office for gifts. They're also great for yourself, or your loved one that has coffee. They look, they're designed to sit out on your counter and look beautiful and free stand. So make sure you get yours. And also don't forget metapcs.com promo code quartering to save on your next computer. Hope you enjoyed and we'll talk to you again real soon.